so hi guys hope you are doing well and uh, in today's video i'm going to discuss about some of the important points which you should follow and which you should avoid doing in last these days while you are preparing for it 2025 right and trust me i have also followed this strategy which helped me to score well and decent rank yeah decent in the sense yeah a good rank in it 2022 so yeah there are total 8 points 7 to 8 points which i would like to share with you that you should avoid and do while you are preparing for it 2025 so without any uh, delay let's begin the video so the first point is avoid using multiple books uh, like right like right now i am getting a lot of comment in my comment box asking about what books you have referred while you are preparing for your it 2025 so i would like to tell you guys that see it's not like uh, what book i have referred same book you should refer right it's not like that whatever book you are referring from starting uh, just refer to that book yeah if you are stick with any concept and you are not getting any concept from that book you can refer to some other book to just clear up your concept but rest don't switch to any other books at this point just stick to whatever you have did but again if you really need any book at this point uh, i have uh, referred like hc verma uh, narendra avasti and crt for inorganic and for maths i have used singage all the standard books i have used but trust me uh, changing or uh, referring to other book at this point is really a mess thing and unworthy thing okay so please don't shift to any other book and stick whatever you are doing so let's move with the second point so the second point is avoid irregularity uh, many of you guys what you do is today you will study for uh, a specific chapter and specific subject and next day you won't do it or you waste your time so don't do it keep a regular pace for in your study because if you don't have that regularity in your studies you might struggle in your exam because yeah your brain is not getting that uh, uh, this thing right uh, schedule so your brain is not prepared for that thing so that's why just don't be very irregular with your studies and do uh, a study with a proper interval of time so yeah that is the second point let's move with the third okay so to avoid irregularity i would like to suggest you because i also followed this thing that plan your day you make a diary or whatever you do just make and note in your diary that today i have to do this chapter this subject and uh, other like this mcqs and everything i know no, you will not able to do 100% of it but at least you will do 70% or 80% trust me uh, you will do at least 70 to 80% and you will be very ha ha happy at the end of your day that you have at least covered 70 to 80% uh, that what you are uh, what you plan uh, at the starting of your day right so that is okay okay and when you reach to uh near to exam then at that moment you will start to do 100% of your planned uh thing okay so that's the uh, thing i would like to suggest to do to st to stop irregularity let's move with the fourth point okay so the fourth point is avoid social media if you are using social media at this moment trust me you will get diverted and once you start scrolling reels or youtube shorts or whatever you will just waste your time like 2 to 3 hours and then you will regret it so stop using social media Uh, and uh, if possible just delete it because this is the crucial point of your life and it's a turning point of your life and you're going to decide your career at this point right so yeah just delete the social media apps let's move with the fifth point okay so the fifth point is like if you're giving a test series or like test and uh, you are getting a question wrong don't worry about it note it down in a particular diary okay note make a special diary note that question in that diary and write where you made a mistake and rectify it and write a new solution do that thing make a special book for it and don't worry about it do whatever i'm saying and trust me if that question appears again you won't do a mistake because your brain will hit you that oh yeah i have made this mistake while i was giving a mock test so yeah that's very crucial thing if you make a uh, your uh, mistake book it will help you a lot a lot i'm saying a lot so yeah that's the fifth point i guess fifth or sixth point i don't remember let's move with the next point so at this this point maybe uh, many of you will just uh, give me some words abusive words or something but trust me don't buy any crash course at this point um crash course is like a shit thing to be very honest yeah i'm not saying that don't refer to crash course but don't buy a paid crash course you can buy a test series and materials whatever you are getting but don't buy crash course it, there are a lot of free crash course on youtube which you can refer and do it no need to buy a extra crash course for it and trust me uh, the the syllabus is way too similar for je mains and iit there is no need to buy a extra crash course for iit and it's just a waste of your money but yeah if you are able to if you are buying test series do it i am not saying that don't buy test series you should buy test series if you are uh, getting a good material you can buy it okay so that's the point i would like to clear just don't buy crash course it's just a waste of time and i know you will not follow it you will just follow for 3 to 4 days and then you will 
get back to your self study and you will forget about the crash course so avoid buying crash course that's the a big mistake people do so yeah let's move with the next point this is the last point i would like to share that uh, i have shared a uh, free resources whatever i have referred while i was preparing for iit 2022 and i have shared uh, updated notes updated resources of it in my excel sheet that too for free and trust me that's more than sufficient you don't have to refer any other uh, paid resources or something like that you just refer to that resources whatever i have shared with you guys it's in excel sheet i will give a link in description also and i have provided that link in many of my previous videos and also i have made a dedicated video for it so please do refer it because i am providing it for free for you guys and if you are not referring it then it's your loss it's not my loss because i have done my work what i have what i should do now it's your uh, uh, like your duty to use it to the most right so yeah that's the last point i would like to share and that's the overall video uh, and yeah if you have any doubts you can just uh, comment me in the comment box and hope this point will really help you and trust me if you do follow these points you will really improve your score trust me like just uh, Uh, it's a advice from your big brother just think like that okay and i won't uh, give you any uh, fake advices on this channel whatever i have followed in my preparation days i'm sharing with you guys so yeah that's the overall thing in this video and hope you like this video if you have any doubts you do share with me and yeah keep studying bye bye